Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm actually pretty excited to film this video for you guys because if you're at all curious what I got for Christmas this year or if you're kind of like me and you love seeing what people get for Christmas or whatever holiday they're celebrating. What's the date today? The 27th. So I know I'm filming this video like two days after Christmas is already over. But if you guys follow me on Instagram and you have seen my recent Instagram stories, getting home from where we were visiting originally was a little difficult. Flights kept getting canceled and then we would rebook and then they would get delayed and then they would get canceled and then we would rebook them, would get canceled again. So I went through four different canceled flights to get home and I'm finally home now. As you can see, I'm back in my apartment. Our original plan was to fly home yesterday, but since the storm in the US right now is really, really crazy, no flights are flying out anywhere. So we actually had to drive home and we left at three in the morning last night. Anyway, we just had to drive and it was just kind of a, a crazy mess. I wasn't gonna film this on Christmas day because I wanted to be fully present for Christmas with my family. Um, so I was gonna film this the day after and then that whole situation with the airport happened. I'm glad to be back home. I'm glad to be filming this video for you guys. Quick little mini disclaimer. This is in no way me bragging about what I got for Christmas or anything like that. I just think it's so fun to share these little moments with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's start with some practical things because I feel like every year um, I ask for practical things that I don't wanna buy myself. This is a perfect example. So I asked for some new Nike socks. These are probably some of my favorite everyday cotton, just like Nike socks that I wear to the gym or I'll wear them with like my Ugg boots or something, wear them around the house. And honestly, buying socks isn't the most exciting thing to buy yourself. So I always ask for them um, for Christmas. So I kind of do like practical gifts here and there. I got these from my mom actually. She gave me two packs of these Nike socks. Hopefully this isn't too TMI or anything, but um, I'll just show you guys really quick. My mom also got me one of the adhesive bras that I use all the time with like dresses or more like fitted shirts and things like that. And you can't really like wear a bra strap so she got me um, an adhesive bra that I use all the time and I go through them pretty quick so yeah just practical stuff you know and then my mom also re-upped me on some vitamin C vitamins these are Bobby Parrish's uh, Flav City vitamin line and I really love his vitamins and supplements specifically because he's very health conscious. He only picks the best ingredients that go into his products and they're always gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, no natural flavors, no artificial colors, no like fillers, like nothing like that. So for Christmas, another practical gift that I asked for because I was actually running low on these and I take vitamin C every day, but especially i'm especially consistent with vitamin c and zinc and things like that during the cold winter months during the holidays when i have a trip coming up that i don't want to be sick for and i swear by these vitamins but to be honest ever since i started taking these i never get sick so coincidence i think not okay so that was the practical stuff that i got for christmas this year Let's move on to some more fun stuff. My mother-in-law knows that I'm obsessed with skincare and just taking care of my skin and just wanting, you know, healthy, glowy. She actually got me some eye masks and face masks. She got me these hyaluronic acid anti-aging sheet masks and then she got me a whole Sephora bag full of them. Like literally, I don't even know if you guys can see, but like, full of eye masks and like pore um, decloggers for your nose, under eye masks, and just like everything you can imagine that is mask related is in this bag. So I got this in my stocking from my mother-in-law. I think I'm actually gonna do a mask tonight. It sounds really relaxing. Keeping with the skincare theme, she also got me my favorite face oil ever. I literally use it twice a day, I'm not even kidding, in the morning and at night. And sometimes I just don't even put makeup on and I just wear this. It's the Summer Fridays Heavenly 16 Face Oil. If you love skincare, especially face oils or face serums and you don't own this product, 
I'm telling you right now, I will link it down below for you guys because you need to own this product. It is so good. It doesn't make me break out. It doesn't make my skin all greasy. It's very hydrating and like plumping. It makes my skin look super bright. And I actually put a couple drop before I put like my moisturizer on or my foundation for my makeup. It's just like such a game changer for me. Invest in a bottle of this. I was actually about halfway through my current bottle because I literally use it that much. So I'm so glad she got me this for Christmas this year. These cute little claw clips were also in my stocking from my mother-in-law and they're so cute. I don't know if you guys can really see, but they're all different colors. There's like a white kind of marbly looking one. And then I have like a darker tortoise and a lighter tortoise. They're perfect to just throw in my hair. I use claw clips all the time. I also got a Sephora gift card from her. So I'm so grateful for that because I, again, love skincare. So I'm definitely gonna be using that probably today. And then this is kind of it for the beauty portion of this video, I got this really cute chic all black with like a gold zipper, Saint Laurent um, travel case. So it has like a little handle here. And inside was my perfume that I use every single day, which is Saint Laurent black opium. So excited because I'm literally running out. I think I have maybe like a week left of spritzes on my other bottle. So I am so glad I bought a new perfume bottle and it came with this really cute travel case. Just love Saint Laurent and black opium is just like my signature scent. I always get compliments everywhere I go. Like, oh girl, you smell good. What, do you, what perfume are you wearing? You smell so good. I've been sticking with that one for a couple years now and it's definitely very me. So now I'm moving on to clothing and activewear and workout clothes because you guys know me, the fitness lifestyle, health and wellness, going to the gym, going to Pilates. It's just like my happy place and you guys know how much I love health and fitness. So anytime I get workout clothes or athleisure type things, I'm just so, so, so happy. The first thing that I got is actually this set that I'm wearing right now. It is by Adenola. And if you're not familiar with Adenola, they are a UK brand and it's just like the cutest tracksuit, like sweatsuit ever. The color is coffee bean. So it's like a brown kind of dark, it's like a gray brown color. Yeah, it says Adenola Sport on it, active lifestyle. Also asked for the matching sweatpants as well. I forgot the sweatpants have a little pocket back here too, which is really cute. But yeah, so I just love a good athleisure set. Adenola is probably one of my favorite activewear brands ever. It is so comfy and I don't think I've taken it off in the past like three days. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have a lot of neutral colored sports bras, but I don't know why I didn't have any black, which is like shocking to me but I asked for a couple black ones for Christmas and my sister-in-law kindly bought these for me. Got me two of them and they're both from Aloe Yoga. And this is the first one. It's like a ribbed kind of V-neck style razorback sports bra. It's so cute and it's very soft. So you could wear it like while you're working out or you could honestly just wear it lounging around the house. I'm just obsessed with it. It's so cute. And then she also got me this one as well, which is um, a little bit more simple. And it's more of that like uh, sweat wicking fabric, but it looks very similar, but I like that And the scoop neck is a little bit different there And then it's also a razorback and it is also aloe yoga as well. I really genuinely needed them So I'm just so happy that she got those for me next my mother-in-law also bought me some more Adenola goodies she got me this like Heather gray fitted shirt. It is so cute and it's gonna be perfect to wear with like jeans or I could wear it to the gym if I wanted to over top like a sports bra. Then she also got me the kind of matching Heather Gray bike shorts that are so cute. I feel like this set together, I can just throw on and throw some sneakers on and either go to the gym or just, you know, run errands, get a coffee. A giant cloud just came in front of my window, so sorry if the lighting changed a little bit. Next, we got one of my other favorite things to buy for myself is Skims. So my mom actually got me these Skims soft smoothing t-shirts. It actually kind of reminds me of the gray Adenola one, but it's a different material. I am just obsessed with the color. She got me a... I 
I actually don't know what the color is, but it's kind of like a khaki beige color. And then she also got me um, the brown version as well. The tags are already off on these because I already tried them on. They're so comfortable. These t-shirts are in the soft smoothing material. So it's very similar to like their shapewear or like the Skims bodysuits. Super stretchy. So I got an extra small and they fit perfectly. Okay, so I got this really nice hoodie from one of my best friends and he bought it before all the controversy went down. So I don't need anyone getting mad at me. I'm kind of bummed about all the controversy stuff, but what happened was pretty bad. Regardless, I thought it was so thoughtful. But yeah, it's a Balenciaga hoodie and it has like their classic Speed Hunters logo on it. It has like the fake tour dates on the back. I will be wearing this around the house, maybe not so much in public right now, but um, I'm really grateful that he even got me anything. So I just wanted to uh, show this to you guys anyway. And then my mother-in-law got me a Nordstrom gift card. So I'm also going to be spending that probably today. And I love Nordstrom because it's very versatile. They have designer there. They have beauty, skincare, home decor. They have like amazing stuff at Nordstrom. So I feel like a Nordstrom gift card is a great gift for honestly anybody on your list. All right, and now I'm gonna show you guys the last like three things that I got for Christmas. You guys would have watched my previous vlog, you would have seen this already, but every year my dad and I have this tradition where he gets me a Vogue Italia magazine. He got me this December issue. So cool and just, I love to collect Vogue Italia magazine. Dad also got me some fun Louis Vuitton. He got me a passport holder, which I'm so excited about. I've been wanting this for a while and I honestly just never pulled the trigger when it came to buying it. I just renewed my passport. It literally just came in the mail probably three weeks ago. So I'm just gonna put my passport in this and it'll just be so nice to have it protected while I travel and it's just gonna last me forever because it's leather and it's Louis Vuitton. So I really needed slash wanted a passport cover. So I'm very grateful for this one. And the last physical gift I have to show you guys is this cool little robot art piece from NBNF. I also showed this to you guys in my last vlog. This was a gift from my friend Alvin. If you don't know what NBNF is, it's like a thing in watch culture. So if you're into like luxury watches, then you probably know what this company is, but they make the coolest like robot art pieces where you can display your watch and you can just take this little piece out and then you can put the watch on here. Actually, let me just show you guys really quick. It's pretty easy. You just take it off and then you put it around the little foam bit here, kind of like that. And then you just place it there and then you can put it on like your bookshelf or whatever, your dresser, anything like that. And it just displays your watch and it's like a cool little watch art piece. I'm so grateful because they're um, pretty hard to get. And the last and final Christmas gift that I got, which might be my favorite of all, Daniel, my husband, actually surprised me with a trip to Italy for next year. We're going for two weeks and we're gonna go all over Italy and I am so excited. It is probably the best gift I've ever been given. He was so thoughtful and he planned the whole thing and it completely caught me off guard. I was so excited that I literally got emotional about it. My sister-in-law captured this video of me opening a Rolex box because Daniel tried to trick me into thinking he got me a new watch. And inside the box was the plane tickets and like the confirmation boarding passes to go to Rome. So I'm so excited. It was such a special surprise. I didn't see it coming. Last time I went to Italy was probably about nine years ago. So almost 10 years it's been since I've been to Italy. And I've been wanting to go back for a long time and just obviously life got in the way. Things with 2020 happened and then just kind of the aftermath of that. So it just kept getting pushed and Daniel finally booked us a trip to Italy and that was my Christmas gift from him this year. He's also never been, so it'll be a first time trip for him to Italy. Um, it'll be my first time going back. I'm so excited, you guys, like you have no idea. So yeah, guys, that's everything I got for Christmas this year. It was 
an amazing Christmas and I'm so beyond blessed and grateful to have the family that I do, to have received the gifts that I've received, and I just feel so beyond blessed and grateful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys kind of liked seeing a look into what I got for Christmas this year. Comment down below your favorite Christmas gift that you got this year. I'm genuinely really curious, and I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And kindly consider subscribing. I hope you guys had the most amazing holiday season and I think I will see you guys next year in 2023. Can't believe it's a new year already. What the heck? All right guys, I love you so much. I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye.